back here because today we're going to be making bubble art. You'll have four pieces of bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Don't pop the bubble wrap because you're going to use it to roll bubbles. Let's get started. All right. First step, take your roller and take one, one bubble wrap. And... And put it on with the tape. Put it on the tape. Now, you need to get some tape from home. We're using painter's tape. And you're just going to overlap so that you can use this roller later for something else. Ooh. Then you're going to take your white sponge and you're going to dip it in whichever color of paint you want first. Which one do you want first? Okay, so we're going with blue. You're gonna wipe it all over. Yep, that's okay. Smooth it all over. Now, if you have extra space at home, you could roll the paint out. But remember, you need to keep this paint for your next bubble project as well. So we're trying to conserve the paint. Can you do it over this? Okay. But not over your, maybe move your canvas out of the way while you get paint on it. After you have paint put on your roller, hold on a second. You can put your canvas any way you want and now you're gonna roll it to get fun bubbles. Now you can do this as many different ways as you want, as many different colors as you want. You have four of these bubbles to wrap around, so one for each color. When your canvas is dry, you're, you can take your clip, your clothespin, and attach it here or attach it here and display pictures or your coloring pages. So included in your kit are two coloring pages, so you'll be able to clip those on. Then for extra fun, we're including some words, play or fun. You can put them anywhere on your canvas because this is gonna be a spot where you can display fun pictures or fun colorings that you've made. So you'll take the clear and pull it off and then stick the sticker letters down. And if you really want, you could just take one letter at a time because these are stickers. So we hope you had a great time making this part of the kit. And do you wanna say anything? Mm -hmm. Say it. Mm. Thanks for painting with me and bubbles. Um, see you next time. Hi, Jack and o kids. Today we are going to make a bubble art canvas. This is a, the paint you'll need is blue, orange, magenta, and teal. You will have four straws. You'll get water from home. Uh, you have a canvas and you have blue dish soap. Let's get started. Step one, you'll probably need parent help. Okay, so for this part, this is where I'll come in and help. You're going to take your paint. Make sure you've already done your other project that's in the kit or separate this paint out um, and put some in another container for later because you're going to want the container. You're going to take your soap. I'm gonna do it, honey. You're gonna take your soap and you're gonna put about a quarter of the container in. Inside of that. And then, and then you're gonna designate one straw for each of these. You can stir it now. And then you can have your adult helper pour some water in. Now, you need about one part water because what you are making is bubbles. 
you're technically making bubbles, so you are going to be blowing it like this to make this. You're going to... Go ahead and show. On the top of your straw, yep. you are going to use your mouth to blow bubbles. So once you've stirred it, you want to gently blow some bubbles. See how we're making some big bubbles? Now you want them to rise out of this, um, the cup. Look at how great that looks. Okay. You're gonna carefully slide it out so none bubbles pop. It's okay if a few pop. Mm -hmm. Gently lay it over the top, the canvas over the top until you see the bubbles pop. Then you're gonna lift it up and it doesn't matter whatever, it comes up. If there are bubbles, you can blow them out a little. So try again. And you can make them wherever you want. So what works really good is if you want, if the child wants to blow the bubbles and the adult wants to come on the side and you'll see them kind of flop like that. So you're gonna see the bubble dots here. Yes. So you're just going to keep repeating this. Okay, once you're done with one set of colors, so she's done with her orange, she's kind of wiping up her space, but knowing that this does make a mess, it's important to put your paper down, okay? She's going to repeat the process. What color are we doing next? We're gonna do blue, and then really we're just going to add the exact same ingredients that we added the first time. A little bit of soap, and then we're going to get our water open, and then we are going to put a little bit of water. Instead of using the straw we already used, you're going to grab another straw in your in your kit and then you are going to stir it again. It's okay if you didn't stir it before because that's what I did. And you're making bubbles. Then you're gonna gently blow them, blow okay. into the straw to make your bubbles. And if you have an adult helper, they can help you by just putting it down and then, and then we And then like, you can pop it if you want. Yeah. So just repeat this with the next colors. Well, this is where we're deciding to stop. You can continue blowing bubbles until you cover the whole thing. You could let it dry and then come back and do it again. Okay, you have lids for your paint, so you could just put a lid on them for a little bit and try it again. But this is where we've decided to stop. So once it is dry, you can attach your clip to either the top to make it a long picture or the side to make it a shorter picture. You can attach um, photos or you can attach your coloring sheets. And then you do have a word option that you could put somewhere on your canvas photo frame. So there you, you have it. If you want to do it again and you run out of dish soap, just grab more dish soap and then you can keep doing it. Yes, you're right. You and if you have more paint at home, you can do it with different colors. You got it. Thanks for joining us this month in Deck It Out Kids. I'll see you next month.